All right, today I'm back with another video for Tag Stand on how to actually program your NFC tags. I'll have another video up on what you can actually use your NFC tags for in everyday life after this video. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this. All right, so to program your tag, um, open your phone up and download the app NFC Task Launcher by Tag Stand um, if you don't already have it. Um, so to program one, let's say you want to program it to, one second, I'm going to see if you guys can see the screen better here. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. A little better. Alright, so say if I wanted to program it to, um, when I connect, or when I swipe it over in an SC tag, I'll do that. I can add an action. And these are all the actions you can use. You can all the wireless networks, Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi connect, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth on or off, uh, Bluetooth discoverability, uh, airplane mode, auto sync, GPS on or off, mobile data on or off, uh, sounds and volume, uh, sound profile, ringtone, ring volume, notification tone, notification volume, media volume, system volume, alarm volume, vibrate when ringing. Uh, for display, you can have it set so it turns your brightness up or down, wherever you want it to go. Uh, notification light on or off, uh, auto rotation on or off, display timeout, um, social media, Twitter, tweet, uh, do a tweet when you swipe your tag, uh, four square check in, uh, four square check in at venue, uh, Facebook check in, uh, Google latitude check in, uh, Google places check in. You can set it up to do messages. Uh, auto sync, send an email, send a text, send a glimpse, uh, applications and shortcuts. You can open an application, close an application, you can open activity, uh, pause, open a ULR, speak text, you can open navigation, um, desktop dock, car dock, and then media, you can get it to start or stop media playback, uh, media next, media preview, so you can have it switch in, uh, between songs and stuff. Um, alarms, you can set it to do alarm, set it for a timer, um, set it for uh, like alarm timer. Um, t for calendar events, you uh, can set it a cal calendar event, you can do a calendar timestamp, which I have my um, wristband to do for when I go to work. Um, security, you can do the lock screen. Um, for phone, you can make it call, place a call. Um, and then you can get to go in blocking mode. So let's say if you want to put that in when you go to sleep, you can just have a tag beside your bed. Um, blocking mode so the no calls get in or whatever. Uh, driving mode so it speaks all your uh, incoming messages. Um, power saving so you save power. And then tasker which is a different uh, application, kind of third party application with this. But um, so to program one, let's set up one. Let's say I want one for when I leave the house. I want the Wi-Fi to go off. I want um, the GP, no, uh, mobile data to go on. Sound profile, to, uh, we'll fix that. Sound profile, uh, display to 100, uh, brightness to 100. Um, auto rotation off, um, and we'll set it to, what else can we set it to? Um, what about security now? Uh, set it to power saving and then press next. So let's put the brightness all the way up to 100. The Wi Fi uh, disable because you're leaving the house. Um, mobile data enable. Um, power saving enable and press OK. And then you can get it to do a different task and you just add the task. So if you swipe the task, uh, the tag once, it does the first task. And then when you come back and swipe it again, it does the second task. So we'll get it to do everything that we just got it to do, but in reverse. So we'll, when we walk back into the house, we'll get it to enable the Wi-Fi, disable the Bluetooth or the uh, mobile data, and um, turn the turn power saving off. Um, display, we'll put the brightness to medium, like halfway, and then next. Okay, so disa or enable Wi-Fi, 
disabled cellular data and turn brightness to 50% and disable power saving and press OK. Oh, and uh, I forgot one thing, uh, sound volume and set ringer to uh, normal. So to save and write this, you press the button up here, save and write. You take your tag, and these are rewritable too. You take your tag, and you just put it over there, and that's it. it's read. So now if I exit out of this, um, I swipe over the tag, and now it should turn my yeah turn my um, mobile data see tag 17 there um, it turned on my mobile data it put my brightness to 100 turned my sound on and it put it in power saving so yeah that's how you set up a tag for uh, by tag stand for um, your NFC tags and um, another thing is that you can have it set, like I said, to do a timestamp. So for this bracelet I have here, zoom out here. For this bracelet I have here, when I get it to do this, I'm just gonna get out of here. Um, when I have it for the bracelet, I just, when I get to work, I just tap my arm and then it opens up my calendar immediately. And it, puts in the time that I just swiped that and then I just press save. Oh, and it opens up my Facebook page too to do a time in, but I'm going to change that because I don't like doing that. So yeah, it uh, opens up the, the calendar and it says work time in and I just press save and it knows when I was at work, which is pretty handy for keeping track of the times you've worked. So yeah, um, stay tuned. I'll be doing another video on how you can actually use the tags in everyday life. So I'll show you where you can use them at and um, what you can use them for and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget about my giveaway and I'll be doing another giveaway next month on these NFC tags. So I'll be giving away five NFC tags. Um, so yeah.